right guys, so today I thought I'm talking a little bit about harnesses and sizing. I do have a bunch of harnesses and I used to have quite a bit more variety. Right now it's, it's a bit more limited. Um, but regardless, I just want to show you a little bit in, in terms of like how, you know, what is a good fit on a harness and, and whatnot, you know. Just want to basically um, go ahead and um, introduce a little bit more details about what I talked about last time, basically about it. So I talked about it last time a little bit that uh, I basically have two types of harnesses, so that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. Um, this is the harness that is Kinyak uh, wearing right now. It's uh, the smallest harness that I have. And uh, you will see in a second why this one will not fit sooner or later. Uh, the thing is, there is a huge discrepancy uh, in terms of like what size of harness a dog should should have, you know, like people think, hey guys, shubbies, knock, can you come? What are you doing? There you go, guys. Oh, hey, little lady. Um, sorry. So the thing is, summer and winter is completely different in terms of like what the size uh, of the dog is and, and um, also like, you know, you also have to account for the um, the fur, you know, so uh, they actually change quite a bit. You know, in the summertime, I keep my dogs, as I talked about before, relatively slim due to the fact that I'm going hiking and uh, in general, they don't need to be, you know, chub chubby or whatever, you know, it's just a detriment to the joints and whatnot, you know. In the winter time, they usually are a little bit more on a, not heavier side, you know, but a little bit more, you know, have more mass for sure. Hey, buddy. Uh, for now, for at the moment, for example, he, Nock, hey Nock, come here, Nock, come here. Hey buddy, you yeah, good boy. Uh, he's, a, he's about 37 kilos right now. Um, he still has to build up a little bit of muscles, but uh, other than that, he is in really good shape. But the thing is, um, he was about 34 or something like that, you know, in the summertime. Hey buddy, you get chubby? Hmm? And uh, the same for the little girl, you know, she is 24 kilos, uh, or in the summertime, she's 24 kilos. Uh, now she's she's about 28, you know. It's quite a bit of a difference there. So, let's put those guys in a harness so you can actually see what the hell I'm talking about. Hey guys, come here. Those are, by the way, those are my most goofy guys. He is um, three and uh, she is a bit over two years. Yeah. September was two years, so she's been over two. And those guys, they really play a lot. He can be quite a shithead, she can be quite a shithead, you know, so they pretty much go, <laughs> go along pretty well. Hey guys, come here, come here. Hey, come here. Knock, knock. Hey guys, hey, shh. Hey, come here. Hey, you. Hey, stop the shit. Mm -hmm. And you make. Alrighty, so him we're gonna put in a um, in a freighting harness, basically. Good buddy, huh? You good boy. There you go. So, so just so you know from the get go, you know the chest part. So here's this chest bone, basically sticking out here. So this harness sits fairly well. You know, it could be a little wider here, but actually you don't really want that um, because, you know, it needs to be fairly tight around here so, um, so they don't start sliding out. So this one fits fairly okay. In the winter time, he tends to actually have a size up, um, but for now, since um, the muscle, uh, yeah, the muscle section here needs to be built up a little bit more and in general, like the coat will come. Uh, then he uh, might end up in a in a size bigger again. Up, 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 up. 
Yeah, you buddy, huh? Yeah. Stop fucking around, dude. There you go. Whoop. You yeah, buddy. Yeah, come here. And as I talked about last time, I use those kind of clips. I have to go around a little bit. If they snap, the good thing is they will usually snap here or somewhere, you know. So those ones here, they are tightly woven around there so they don't get lost. Yeah. You buddy. <laughs> you fucking. Oh, you guys are a little bit too excited, huh? So, you can see here the spreader ball harness works really well. Um, this one actually fits really well on him. You know, you want to have it like somewhere around here, so um, not too far down. It sits quite well. I really like how, you know, it's a bit braggy, but I actually made those like this. And I really like how they sit actually. You know, this one wears out over the time. Doesn't matter if you buy something something better or not. They usually wear out quite a bit. But uh, this one sits really well because if he puts in a little bit more more weight, this one sits like pretty much, you know, a bit below the anus. Um, you don't want it too long because then it starts flopping around a lot, you know. Uh, the only downside on those harnesses in general is that they create rubbing here. So if you're uh, into shows and shit, um, this might not be a good option for you. For me, it's perfect because I don't give a shit. <laughs> Just rarely. So uh, I don't really care. Come here, girl. Thank you. I'll put this lady in harness. Up, 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 up. Yeah, yeah, behave a little bit, buddy. <coughs> so on, on her, it's, like I said, this tiny harness. Um, the, she has uh, a little bit less chest. Mm. Hey, buddy, is it? But the problem with this one is, I think it's, this one is a little bit tight. She's gonna have a bit more. Hey, let me fucking talk, dude. Yeah, behave. Um, it sits a little high, creating a bit of pressure here. Where you don't really hey. It creates a little bit too much pressure here, which I don't like. Obviously, it shouldn't be like that. Um, she's gonna move up a size harness uh, soon. She's going a, usually a little bit higher in the team, so um, she doesn't have that much pressure on um, on her in terms of pulling. So um, soon she's gonna get a bigger harness, huh? You. So. Oh, you behave, dude. I need to explain it to you. All those guys, they're actually really driven. I actually really like them a lot. In terms of strife, um, he's a bit of a shithead actually. But um, both of them, she is really fun because she's so tiny. But she's actually really driven. I really like her. So those two harnesses, um, they sit quite well here. They're a bit too long. But it's a general problem with the troll harnesses um, that they are made for Siberian Huskies mainly or for even for Alaskan Huskies basically, which tend to have less chest. So um, the, the, uh, you always have to kind of size up a little bit for, for the length of the harnesses. So they tend to get a little bit too long here, which, uh, you know, it's debatable if it's good or not. You usually say they should end here. Oh, they tend to be a little bit longer. I don't think it, does. it doesn't matter that much as long as it's not like super long and whatever, you know, so I um, I used to care a lot about it. I don't so much because um, As I said the uh, size of the dogs they differ so much, you know um, over the over course of a year, you know over a season, so it's um, You know Don't Overdo it, you know. It, it's good when you really uh, take focus on it, you know, pay attention to it. Definitely necessary. But you know, um, there is there's a limit to everything, pretty much. So um, the reason why I'm a little bit noisy here right now is because I'm going in the back of my. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I kind of. 
proper fitting <laughs> booty. Show you two. I'm just gonna take a look at the framing is still okay. Yes. Oh, that's good. Huh? So what I'm gonna show you now is um, especially for the wheel dogs for my case in my case, it's sometimes necessary to use booties. So uh, there's two different versions that I have at least. Uh, this one is the regular Kodura one. I don't remember what Kodura it was, if it was 300 or 500. Um, I forgot about it, but it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just depending a little bit on how stiff they are or not. Uh, this one here is the uh, VIP. It's, uh, it's some uh, polyester stretchable. It's actually quite nice. You can't use it in winter, not that much, unless you have really prepped trails. Uh, otherwise they're useless because uh, they're open, woven, so you actually get uh, snow inside, so they're not really good for that. Uh, they, it is said that they're supposed to be way, way stronger uh, than, than those ones, which they are. Uh, however, they don't really last that long. Um, and for that they are way too expensive to actually use them. I, I uh, use them on gravel quite a bit once in a while. Um, but that is a little bit dependent on um, who it is. Um, the little ladies that I have, uh, him, uh, her, here, uh, Kinyak, and, uh, and also Galina and Akpik, my two other girls, um, they tend to have a bit of problem with the back of the paws. Because they dig in so much that they're actually scratching, um, uh, you know, the, all of the paws, getting a little bit rubbed. So um, especially when it um, when it starts freezing, uh, then the the gravel is really rough. So in this case, the lady here, you see, I really like uh, how how you can start to see like her her back muscles here. You know, she has a really good angulation actually. I I really like this girl. She should be a size bigger though. Um, she has so tiny little paws and they are a bit sensitive. There are, um, it's a bit hard to see now, but uh, there are, they tend to rub a little bit down. Um, she is a bit more sensitive. Um, the other two girls, not so much, but she's a bit more. Um, the important thing is like uh, when you put those on, uh, don't tighten them too much. And also don't make them too loose, because if you make them too loose, uh, they fly off. If you put it too tight, uh, the blood circulation gets interrupted and they start swelling. That's a little bit something to think about. Mm -hmm, lady, you good girl. Hmm? Are you nice? You're behaving now, aren't you? What is going on, huh? On this big boy, I'm going to put one in the front. Come here, buddy. Come on. You good boy. Mm -hmm. Just so you see, let's see if we, this is actually possible to see in the end. Because the, the biggest problem here in the front is um, that you always... Hey, can you? Uh, the big issue in the front is always that you have the dew claw. Um, it, you obviously need to go over it, but um, the importance is that um, the dew claw is not rubbing against the paw in, in general, and uh, the Velcro needs to be over the dew claw because otherwise, if you put it straight on, that's going to be a huge issue. Here, I always think like I have to tighten it a little bit more so it doesn't really slide down, and always be careful about it, you know. So, um, so they are not too tight; they have a little bit the chance to s stretch. And that's what those um, VIP booties actually come in really nicely because they stretch. Good boy. Good boy. So um, on him, he doesn't need need them, you know. So I just put it on so you guys can see. You know what I mean is, if you look at the the paw here, the dew claw, um, it, you know, you have to have the movability, you know, so they shouldn't be higher than the the actual joint. So you have to sit right here between the joint and the dew claw, and that uh, can be a problem. Jesus, lady, you need to get the nail cut, huh? No, I missed that. So, just something to have in mind. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna make it loose again huh, in a second. 
So those are two little things or a few things that you have to think about. Um, yeah, there is a few things uh, that you have to check in terms of harnesses, you know. Those harnesses, those type of harnesses are always better when the, when the actual padding goes around the, the webbing. Uh, I prefer that. Uh, the, there's other harnesses like the Manmat harness here, for example. It doesn't have that. And uh, what can happen is that um, the, the padding basically goes inside and then you have the, uh, the webbing straight up here. And that um, can cause issues. Uh, my big boy, uh, when he was young, he actually had some rubbing. That is because it tends to slide a little bit, you know, left and right. And then uh, especially when they have like a really pronounced uh, chest bone here, it tends to slide in one way or another. Um, and then it sits on one side and then it can cause rubbing here in this area. So check that out a little bit. You can see on her, she has a bit discoloration here because it tends to slide a little bit, but there's no irritation really, you know, so that's all right. But just have that in mind a little bit. At the moment I'm running 10 to 20 kilometers, um, three, to four, uh, three to five times a week, depending a little bit, you know. It's quite weather dependent and work dependent, I would say, at the moment, a bit. Uh, we're a bit behind. Uh, in terms of like, you know, weight and all, um, like I said, I try to keep them a little bit slimmer in the summer. And uh, when you come into the season, they're still a bit slim. Uh, hey, hey, boop, boop, boop. Because then um, the first runs are a little bit more um, or less stressful on the joints. And then um, when autumn comes around, I start fattening them up them up because um, then they need the muscles uh, to uh, or need the fat to develop muscles Let's put it this way now they're actually like they look pretty good actually and they run quite good it's still a bit warm at times for especially for my biggest guys but um, those the other guys the youngsters they all run really nicely oh huh? you're doing good Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Right. Whoop. There you go. So those guys have a little bit fun, and I say goodbye. Um, if you have any questions or so, put them in the comments. Have a good one.